Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Now today, as you see, I'm going to be playing the uh, AUF1 first here on LL Main. But if a, uh, this tank here, it's quite special. Um, I guess, uh, oh, I got immobilized, so well, that's not great. Um, I guess on the one hand, I did destroy that guy there. On the other hand, we're kind of uh, out in the very open now. This is not exactly how I uh, wanted to start a video, but uh, you know what? It's fine because we're still alive. Um, there's a tank right there. I can't engage it. I don't have any vertical turret drive, so I am just going to rush down the hill here, hopefully and not be seen by him. And then, uh, yeah, once I get in front of this hill, I'll probably uh, start repairing. Now, the main difference between this thing and the Type 75, which also has the uh, same gun, is that uh, this thing I see, as far as I know, gets a different shell. And it also, um, yeah, has a faster reload, so that's why it's a bit higher in battle rating. I guess we see a ZSU all the way down there. I'm just gonna <laughs> try my luck, but uh, yeah, no sauce there. Um, is that an enemy tank? Yes, it is. Does it see me? Uh, no. And I hit him. Yes, excellent. And that does give us our second kill. There's a mouse right there, though. Um, now, this thing can kill mice if you hit the turret cheeks, but since he's looking at me, I'm not gonna risk it. Instead, I'll probably back up now, try and head to the B point because someone did capture that. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll be able to assault whoever did that. Although we do actually see a tank all the way down here. Um, oh, that's a bit too short. So, uh, yeah, I am going to back into cover here. Looks like there's another tank all the way down there. That's an S tank, though. So, I mean, we can kill it, I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm not very good at aiming this thing. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult for us here. Uh, he looks very far, too, so... Maybe around, like, there-ish. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's really nice, actually. Um, yeah, this thing's really easy to aim. Uh, well, I just said it was a bit difficult, but, uh, it's easier than other SVGs, I should say. Ooh, we do see an Ostwin right there. He sees me. Now, uh, sadly, he did get her gunner there, but luckily that doesn't matter, because, like I said before, we have an autoloader, so we'll always have our 7.5 second reload. Ooh, we do see a tank right there. Ooh. Now, luckily, he did see me, but uh, I was able to get his barrel before he shot me. So now I can just go here and, um, yeah, aim for his cupola, and that does successfully kill him. Optionally, that maybe could have gone for his, like, driver port or something. But I didn't want to test it. There's also a mouse down there, so... Yeah, it's uh, quite the interesting situation we're in right now. I think the BTR also sees the mouse there. I'm gonna quickly point that out for him, just in case he uh, doesn't spot it. But, um, yeah, ooh, there we go. There's actually more than a mouse there. Looks like there's also an M48. But, uh, yeah, we can't really do much against that, so... Yeah, for now, I think we're uh, gonna kind of hide behind here. Looks like the mouse is looking at the BTR, though, so maybe if I get lucky... I'll be able to push him, and uh, yeah, no, uh, let's not try that again. Huh? We do see something down there. Oh, we uh, couldn't get it. Well, as you saw right there, this thing's profile uh, does certainly get it killed, or that was certainly a bit of a skill issue on my part. Um, yeah, a very tall tank, which, uh, yeah, I guess you kind of exchange for the reload, but, um... Yeah, now I do actually hear a plane. Now this thing can become an AA if you feel like it. But uh, you do have to get a bit lucky. So I'll test my luck here. I'll load the proximity fuse shell. But what you'd have to keep in mind with this shell is that it's significantly slower than your regular HE shell. So here you see it's 810 meters a second and this one is 580. So you have to always lead a bit more when you're shooting with this round. In this case right now, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, that probably won't hit him. Well, I'll always get another try. Looks like our friendly here is getting shot. Um, I don't know from where, though. Sadly, he uh, isn't really telling me, so I can't help him out. Maybe from down there, but uh, I guess I could try and repair him. Although that is a bit of a risky move.
Oh, there we go. Looks like we do see a leopard one. Sadly, I can't really get the gun down, though. So, uh, we're gonna have to pray that my friendly here can get rid of him. Uh, okay, that wasn't a very good shot on his side. And, uh, mine was a bit better. But, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't, uh, yeah, get rid of him there. At least he didn't mobilize him, though, so... That means that we can move in the meantime and, uh, try and assault him from a different area. Goodbye. Oh, transmission. Okay, excellent. <laughs> that means he can't shoot me anymore. And, uh, yeah, I guess for now we can just repair our barrel then. Although we are in a very open area. Alright, now the barrel is repaired. The problem is he knows exactly where we are. And, uh, yeah, I'm not very confident in my ability to push an S-tank. Especially when it has the 4 second reload. So, um, yeah, I think for now I'm gonna try and move up a bit closer to this hill. And maybe deal with the tanks that are spawn camping us, but even that's a bit difficult. Oh, but it looks like our friendly here has actually managed to take care of him, so that's great. Uh, so, yeah, I think for now I'll try and go to the bay point, stop to take a bleed, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. Now we did just see a leopard all the way down there. But, uh, you know what, I don't think I have the time to stop right now, so... Yeah, we just hold W and try and, at the very least, stop to take a bleed. I'm gonna leave the AA work to the AA in our spawn, since uh, I think we should be paying more attention to the ground targets, but... Yeah, I just hope we don't get strafed. That's not good. Uh, admittedly, I heard the helicopter a bit later, so uh, yeah, I didn't exactly, you know, uh, anticipate. Alright, for our next battle, we're here on Normandy. Now, usually on this map, I go to the monument. Problem is, I think this thing's uh, a bit too large for that spot. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try a bit of a different approach today. And perhaps go to the B point, or like right, maybe right next to it. We'll see what happens and just try and defend it from anybody who tries to come capture it. There we go, we do actually see a tank right there, I just noticed, but um... Oh, he just rendered away. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> there is our first kill. Um, yeah, luckily no one on the enemy team has decided to go capture the monument, so yeah, that's definitely works in favor of us since that's uh, one spot where we can definitely get shot from. Other than that, team seems to be uh, doing pretty well. Um, you know, there is someone scattered over there, which is good uh, Good to see. And uh, yeah, nobody's really come to capture it, so maybe for now I'll try and advance on the capture zone so that I can, uh, yeah, start to take a bleed for our team. Oh, there we go. We do see a lot of tanks right there. We're just going to get rid of that T-44. I know there was an S-tank behind him, but, uh, you know... I, uh, don't know what he's, he's looking right at me. Okay, well, it <laughs> looks like we don't push that. Um, yeah, our friendly team here is going to be dealing with them, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, I think we should probably look somewhere else. Although that Type 60 actually is covering that corner, so that's really nice of him. S-Tank here, though, is, uh, still a threat because he can shoot me if I push around this corner. So, yeah, I think we just wait for our team to deal with him. Sonic is also another tank. Or a different tank behind him there, so, uh, you know, we'll see what happens, but I think for now we're pretty safe. There we go, looks like it's an IS-3, what I heard. So, oh, there we go, the Type 60 has actually managed to get behind them, so, uh, that's great. Hopefully he can get rid of the S-tank or something, so that, uh, you know, we don't, uh, have too many negative experiences. I'm gonna watch this corner, though, because that's really the only corner... I have to watch since everything else is covered. Alright, now I've decided to push up a bit here. Um, you know, because uh, this spot is always somewhere where you can see tanks. Uh, hello, Tiger 2. <laughs> that was a terrible shot. I should have shot his turret. Uh, admittedly, my thinking wasn't very bright. Uh, there we go. We're just going to get rid of that T44 and reverse. Tiger 2 is still there. But, um, yeah, he's kind of 
hidden behind the bushes now, so I don't think I have to worry about him. There was a tank right there, though. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to watch our right side or in front of us so that uh, he doesn't flank us. Oh, never mind. Looks like it is done dealt with. Oh, Type 60 is feeling brave today. He survived. Uh, good for him. Um, but, you know, they're actually, uh, I believe, Tiger 2 and... A Tiger 2, okay, there's just two Tiger 2s, excellent. Um, well, not excellent, but at least we know what's there. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely gonna annihilate me as soon as I push around the corner, although it looks like he has shot now. So we can just get rid of him. And then back into cover. The other Tiger 2, oh, that's a 2S3M. Uh, I don't see him anymore. Ooh, I missed. I kind of saw him through the grass there, but uh... Yeah, I couldn't deal with him, and I'm now back into cover because he's looking right at me. Because uh, that thing could definitely annihilate me. I have very thin armor in the turret, so. Yeah. Looks like there's also another tank behind there, if you see, like, right here. And right there, so, uh, yeah, a lot going on right now. Alright, there we go. Looks like the 2S3M has been built within the tank that was uh, looking at me here, kind of went behind so we're just gonna quickly deal with that right there and it uh, looks like they have a lot of planes up though so maybe i'll try and become an aa again although i'm not sure how uh successful i'll be there we go we see one plane over there looks very big so at least that'll be an easy target for us as long as i can uh manage to aim properly and it's a doe 335 so that means he's gonna come in for a strafe which means that he'll be traveling in a straight line and be going relatively close to the ground so it should be a somewhat easy target for me. I say somewhat because I'm still am not very good at aiming this thing. Um, I'm better at using the 2S3M as an AA than, uh, yeah, this thing. Hey, there we go. Um, yeah, it certainly works, um, especially when the enemies are flying straight. But uh, yeah, the more you know. There you go. Unfortunately, that uh, SU-122 there Found me a bit too late, and um, yeah, that was kind of the end of him. Spawn point check, 1,800, so uh, yeah, definitely uh, no nukes this game, but this thing's really fun to play. Um, you know, the HE always does funny things, you know, sometimes you don't have good luck, but most of the time, as long as you like shoot the turret cheeks, or the driver ports of the commander, Capolas, you most of the time do get the kill. And uh, yeah, I think this thing was uh, definitely a very fun vehicle they've added. And hopefully they add more vehicles like this where you have like a high fire rate and uh, a big gun. Uh, because those are really all fun to play. Alright, for our next battle, Ryan. A very, very small map, which means that enemies will appear in front of you in a very short amount of time as soon as you leave spawn. So you should uh, always be kind of just watching down the uh, corridors. There we go. First target of the day is a Leopard 1. Uh, he was about to get away. Oh, that... Oh, 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 hello, hello, hello. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, reverse a bit here, I think, because if I don't, bad things will happen. Oh, I accidentally backed up into a friendly. My bad. Um, yeah, I guess we uh, kind of push with the team here. I think that's probably our smartest thing to do. Oh, that's a big tank. Uh, oh, thank you. Um... Yeah, looks like our HE shell couldn't quite make it, but there is, I believe, a T something something over behind there. So uh, we're just going to quickly get rid of that by shooting his roof. Because I wasn't quite confident in the ability to uh, kind of... Oh, okay. Uh, my apologies. Looks like uh, it's very chaotic here, so I guess uh, a bit of chaos isn't bad. But um, yeah, there we go. Looks like... Our friendly tank here has just died, so we do have to, uh, yeah, I guess be extra careful right now. Luckily for me, there aren't, uh, yeah, too many enemies around here. Um, but there we go, we do see two of them now. I should have shot that guy on the right there. Uh, yep, okay. Um, that's not great. Hopefully our SU-122 friend here will distract him. There's a whole lot going on though right now, so let's just quickly get rid of him before he does anything too funny. And uh, reload another shell because, you know, Sting has a fast reload and uh, yeah, definitely helps in these urban situations. There's another tank right there, I don't know what he is, looks like his barrel's out though, so... Yeah, I uh, don't have to be too careful, but right here is uh, yeah, 
quite oh my god okay uh can i shoot this guy's machine gun not quite okay so i think for now it's probably safer to back up because uh, there was like a t26 and he might shoot through the windows and i'm me and that would be very unfun so uh, yeah i think i'm gonna kind of stay here for now and have the t44 deal with him okay well okay um kind of just been eliminated now which is uh unfortunate definitely very unfortunate and the guy right here uh has okay died that's great um looks like there's smoke there now so i don't have to worry about that guy for the time being so maybe i'll try and deal with the t26 now we do see something there uh, oh, uh, I aimed a bit too low there, um, so I do have to retreat, and yeah, unfortunately that 2S3M there didn't quite see him, so he is on the receiving end of that T-34's gun. Hopefully nobody else showed up to our left here. Um, but yeah, looks like uh team's having a bit of a tough time here today now. I do hear a light tank in front of me. So hopefully he just kind of runs in front of me. There we go. Um, we do annihilate that. Ooh, that T-34 is pushing me though. So let's quickly back up here so that he doesn't uh, shoot the side of my turret and ammo rack me. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on there. Alright, there we go. Looks like he has shot now. The problem is he's also backed up into cover. So I guess he's a very smart player. Um, which doesn't work in my favor. But uh, I guess our team does have a capture zone advantage so we don't have to be too hasty about things there we go looks like we finally do get the kill on that t34 there and uh, we do have to pay attention to the avery that's to our left because um yeah he did just annihilate our as285 friend oh there we go he is very hold down uh, i'm gonna point him out here for the friendly team just so that they don't get spooked but um yeah i guess for now maybe we'll just have to uh i don't just hold this area because there's no reason to push there's uh no reason to really go anywhere because we have both a and c so we're on the course to winning the game okay well it looks like d34 was uh bait for today we're just going to annihilate that Avery there. Um, and yeah, it looks like that does give us a seventh kill. Uh, looks like he's uh, respawned there. So uh, yeah, I will just get rid of him. Was that the same guy? It probably is. Uh, Mr. Singularity. Yep, it was. Okay. Um, do I feel bad for him? Not really, because I'm getting straight by P51 right now. And uh, oh no, that thing can actually do damage to me. Luckily, our IS-6 friend has shot him down, though, so that's very cool. Now, we do hear multiple tanks over here. That's a T-26, and he can APHE my turrets, so we definitely don't even show a pixel of that to him. Um, does he know that I'm here? I think it's pretty safe to say that he does. So, uh, yeah, let's not push that. I am also maybe scouted. I mean, someone's called artillery on me, so they at least know my rough location, so that isn't great. But there we go, looks like he's looking away now, so let's kind of pre-aim the turret to where he is and never- Oh, never mind, he survived that bomb. But there we go, looks like uh, we can finish off the kill there. There we go, a bit of a running push on that T92 there, it does give us our 10th kill. Um, how many spell points do I actually have? Uh, 2,300, so if I actually get maybe one or two more kills, I'll actually be able to spawn in a nuke, but it looks like uh, the enemy team here has uh, almost lost all of the tickets, so I probably won't get to do that. Oh, that is unfortunate. I thought I could just shoot his turret there, but uh, evidently not. I think I should have most likely aimed for his roof. There we go. He does use the main gun and do get an assist on him. So at uh, 2,457 spawn points, so almost a nuke. Very, very close. Um, but yeah, no, I think this... I think it's great. <laughs> 10 kills, certainly very, very good. Anyway, um, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here. Um, the AOF one, insanely fun. Um, I think 
one of the most fun SPGs. Maybe a 2S3M is close, but this thing has a faster reload, so I actually kind of like this thing a bit more. Um, but anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here. Uh, you definitely won't regret, um, you know, researching this thing if you are planning on doing it. Because, uh, yeah, it's a really fun tank. You can also bring it along with the stuff like the AML-90 or the AMX-M4. Sadly, there aren't really many 7.0 tanks. As for planes, I mean, you get access to nothing. Um, you have an F-84, I guess, but not F-84, F-8F. Other than that, there isn't really a whole lot. So, yeah, it's probably just going to be the SPG, the AML, and the AMX-M4. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.